Our next guest is fascinated about astronomy. He loves things that surpass human understanding. Well, his name is Micah. Check this video out. It's in our solar system starting from one Mercury, which is the closest to the sun and the smallest planet in our solar system. Micah Tusime Manzi. 12-year-old Micah is fascinated by science, especially astronomy, which is one of the oldest natural sciences. Uh, Earth is the only planet in our solar system not named after a Greek god or goddess. Astronomy is the study of celestial objects and phenomena like planets, moons, stars, galaxies, and much more. He is continuously learning new things about it. If you have always been intrigued by space, or you simply wish to learn some interesting facts about it, Micah is the guy to go to. He knows very well that by using mathematics, chemistry, and physics, astronomy strives to explain the origin of these celestial objects and their evolution. According to Micah, astronomy is important because it contributes to technology, economy, and software beyond our current capabilities. Let's meet Micah. Welcome with me, Micah! <laughs> Woo! Micah, good to see you, sir. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's too much information, yeah? Eh, eh, eh. The stars, yeah. the sky, and the moon. It's not just the stars, the sky, and the moon. It's, yeah. it's planets, it's galaxies, it's stars, it's black holes, all that stuff. Whoa, I think we need to sit and talk about this. Because you said a black hole. Black hole. Black hole. Like a hole. Okay, it's not a hole, yeah. but it, what enters doesn't come out. Hey! What enters the black hole doesn't come out? Chai, chai, it chai, it chai, has chai. the strongest gravitational pull on the universe. So it's so strong that its escape velocity, which, which means the speed you have to travel at to escape its gravitational pull is faster than the speed of light. Are we still talking about a black hole? So what is a black hole? A black hole is a remnant core of a dead star. When a star is dying, it collapses under its own pressure and its core explodes and everything just enters and becomes an infinitely dense object with the strongest gravitational pull. So when something... <laughs> mm -hmm. So when something enters, mm. your escape velocity would have to be faster than the speed of light and according to Einstein's theory of general relativity, nothing can go faster than the speed of light. So, <laughs> eh! did you understand? Even me, we are together. So, let's start from the basics. What is velocity? Velocity is the speed at which an object moves. Ah, so if I'm walking, like three uh, minutes, uh, every three steps, that is velocity. Yes, if you're walking. Velocity is measured in kilometers per hour. Now. Kilometers per hour. Aha, uh -huh. so the black hole. I won't lie to you, I haven't understood. That's the truth. But I'm learning. I am. It's called adult education. So, apart from the black hole, what else is like the black hole or related to it? Uh, there's something called a neutron star. What does it do? When a star, slightly bigger, like around three to four times bigger than our sun, dies, its core collapses in on itself, but it doesn't form a black hole. Instead, it forms something a bit less dense than a black hole called a neutron star. It's about the size of a city, a small city, like, uh, let's say, not Kampala, Kampala is too small. Hmm. Um, let's say a city in America called Manhattan. Neutron star? Where do we find it? Uh, it? It's very difficult to find, and I wouldn't advise you go near it, because you die from radiation poisoning, and the amount of magnetic energy it's giving off would basically fry from the inside out. So you can just detect it from Earth by observing changes in radio waves and all that stuff. How old are you? Twelve. Now, a black hole has something called an accretion disk around it. Uh -huh. 
Now, before you enter something called the event horizon, which mm. is the center of the black hole, and you first spin it in something called an accretion disk. Accretion disk? What is accretion disk? An accretion disk is like a ring of matter around a black hole. Now, uh -huh. before you reach the accretion disk, you experience something called spaghettification. Where Are you spaghetti? Yes. Which spaghetti is that? You, like when you're flying yeah. and you go near the black hole, you, your body will start to stretch and stretch so you become something as seen as spaghetti. So wha when do you get to learn all this? There was a, uh, mostly learned this in 2020 lockdown, but on the weekends I also research about these things. And you find it interesting? Yeah, it's very interesting. You feel happy like eating ice cream when you're getting all these things? Yeah, it's interesting. What but fascinates you about it? Uh, the fact that okay, sometimes life here can get boring and like I just want to know what's outside there because <laughs> I see people saying oh, 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 we're launching a satellite and I just want to see where it's going to go, I want to see what it's going to do. I want to see if there's going to be other life discovered, what, all that stuff. Uh, rockets, how do rockets work? What, do you know, I've never understood those things. It's the same process that makes a star burn bright. You get hydrogen and then you get helium and then something, a process called nuclear fusion happens when a hydrogen atom fuses with a helium atom and it releases vast amounts of energy. <laughs> uh -huh, I'm listening. Like, Oh, it also happens at the center of almost all, of all stars, actually. Mm. A hydrogen atom fuses with a helium atom. It releases vast amounts of energy. And then, like that, just keeps doing it until the rocket eventually reaches space. So what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, I'd like to be an astronomer when I grow up. An astronomer? What do they do? They discover new planets, they discover new moons. They discover new stars, new galaxies. So, do you, what do your parents think about? Do you tell these things to your parents? Uh, yes, sometimes, but most of the times it's so complicated, they just get bored. Hey, you know, even me, when you were telling me, I kept wondering, am I normal? <laughs> are there other people who are like me? Yes. Now that you've said your parents feel the same way, I respect you. It's been a pleasure having you, Maikai. I look forward to being your friend. Please, let me tell you this story. When you become rich, you remember me? Yes. Yes, yeah. Ha! Thank you so much for choosing to watch my YouTube channel. And yes, remember to subscribe. Remember to subscribe, yes. And hit the bell to be the first to know when we upload the latest video. Remember as well to share with your friends, relatives, outlaws, in-laws, everybody. And let's be happy together. Happiness is a kidding in me, diggy <laughs> I'll see you when I see you.